Hello everyone and welcome back to part 58 of Build HMS Victory. Okay, so I just want to start off by saying a big thank you to everybody who commented on the last video. I got a lot of positive feedback, so that's uh, really encouraging for myself that I could, I mean, from what people were saying, obviously it sounded like me sound improving, the picture improving, but it's still, still a, lot, uh, a long way to go, but it looks like I'm moving in the right direction. So thank you for that. So anyway, like as you see, I've got a victory on the table again. And since uh, since my last video, I've added a, a few things, just like little things, just do them off camera. It's like I said, not always like things you can do all the time, just kind of make interesting videos, like just putting little eyeballs, just gluing little things like this. So, but like I say, I'm starting to move my way back down the quarter deck. And it's also, the like I say, now there's the main, uh, main companion way to start on. So I'm just going to put pictures aside. I'm going to bring across some some pictures. Okay, so we're pretty much working from issue 84 today, and this is where we get the uh, get the little section for the uh, companionway ladder. And it looks okay, and I'm going to slightly change it, but not not by much. Just and also got this other this other uh, diagram that I've been working through over the last year or so, and this shows you a full full section companion way as well so that's the way i'll be building it i'm just going to bring victory back across like i say i've got this this camera on here this time so i can get like i pretty much worked out that i can't have set cameras not for victory and at whatever sections i'm working on like the, the obviously the bow obviously the stern midship obviously port and starboard side i'm gonna have to move cameras to suit so because i'm working on the companion way i'd like to set like an overhead camera facing that directly. But we get some uh, some treads in this uh, for this section of the build. First of all I'm going to start off just by laying them in the main companion way. I'm just going to cut it to size. I'm just going to mark it. It's pretty much where this top the top tread will finish. So I'm going to move Richard back out of the way. So that's me indication mark for this top riser. Pretty much all I need to do is just cut it, cut it to length. Bring the second one. I'm going to put them back to back. This shows you sometimes the quality of kit is obviously these don't one slightly larger than the other. But I've got to the stage now with this with this build where it's, it pretty much is what it is. I kind of know its quality. It's got some really good parts, but it's also got some really, uh, really poor parts as well. So I've just got to a stage now where I'm just kind of having to live with it. Okay, so let's cut these bolts left. Now we can uh, work out how, how long we need the uh, the risers. Let's bring the victory back across. Now let's take the calipers. And I'm just going to measure this opening for the main companion way. I'm getting 25.4, so say 25. So these risers are around about 2 mil, 2 mil thick. And actually got these this light in, indention cut in, ready for the, the, the treads. So we need to cut these treads around about 21 mil. So I'll bring across some uh, some fibre one. Let's check that. Yeah, some fibre one. Yeah, so I'm just going to start off with by cutting two at 21 mil long. Just put it on the ruler. Make an indication mark. After you've cut one, it's sometimes easy just to mark it on this one, and you've always got the same the same width every time. I'll just tell that's two. How I like to build my steps is I like to put one in the top first, and then one in the bottom, and then let that dry and then I like to fill in all the sections after just to make sure that I'm getting an equal equal uh, step every time. I'm 
Let's take a little bit of glue. It's just white wood glue. Just pop that in there. Down to the bottom. Same again. Pop them in. Take your next thread. Same again. And then just slide these two together. Let's give them a nice squeeze. Squeeze out some of the excess glue. Just take a nice clean paintbrush and just clean off the excess. It's more important to kind of get off this excess glue if you're going to stain your model rather than rather than paint it because it leaves the uh, like the dry film but when you stain it you can kind of see stands out so I'm just going to bring this straight edge across just use the uh, the steps we just made and then push them up to this straight edge and then they can be left to dry okay so I'll leave these to dry five minutes and then we'll come back and then we'll fill in all the rest of the, the steps okay so now it's day two of this build and as you can notice i've actually uh, added a little bit more to the uh, quarter deck a little bit more by an accident i was actually f filming all this section this morning and when i went back to edit it and realized i'd kind of like uh, just completely don't know i've done something wrong but nothing other the camera has been secret so i'm not quite sure what i've done but pretty much all i've done is just finish off this uh, this ladder these steps and then just Put some framing around the quarter deck. So now it's time to wear, work on put, adding the uh, baluster rail. And we'll get some of these little miniature balusters. And I've seen the instructions, they pretty much just put four on in all these corners and then just stick on a bit of a, like a handrail. And I'm going to do pretty much the same thing, but all I'm going to do is just first off, I'm just going to raise these, these little balusters just so they kind of sat off the floor and then put the top hand rail in and the bottom rail. Okay, so I'm going to start working on constructing this, uh, this little hand rail that goes around the uh, companion way. I'm going to get these, obviously these four little balances in the kit. I'm just going to make it up, obviously like a section of hand rails. So I've just cut four hand rails stop and these are all at 2.5 millimeter and I've cut them all at 35 mil long which is the length of the uh, outside companion way. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm actually just slightly cut two of the ends with a 45 degrees angle. So I'm just going to take a little bit of super glue gel. I'm just going to drop a little drop right on the end. This stuff's potent, just I mean, sticking my hands together more than anything I've ever used. I'm just going to drop one of the Ballister rails, columns, right on the end. I'm just going to take a little bit more gel. See if we can just drop a little bit right on this far end. And just drop that right on that end as well, leaving that little 45 degree section. Now I'm just going to repeat the process just on the top. Making sure it's facing the right way. <laughs> Just a little bit more glue if necessary. I'm going to leave that one to do and we can repeat the process on the other side. So now we just have two rails that are both cut at 45 degrees angle on the end. Okay, so now we just want to cut this back 45. So I'm just going to cut it at 
30 mil length at around about 45 degrees angle. Now I just want to take a little bit more of this uh, super glue gel. I've never, never known me uh, hands get stuck together so much used super glue as I have the super glue gel. I'm not sure why. I'm just going to do this together. There's a slight gap on this one, but it's okay because we're going to cover this up in a bit with another slight, like a top cap. So tell this other section by the handrail. Drop a little bit of super glue on this 45, and we can join these two parts together. Just want to check the gap. Go around about 31. We we'll just need to make sure that this is opened up in around 31. I'm just looking straight. Which is. Okay, to leave that to dry a few seconds. Why is that? Stuffed everywhere. I really don't quite understand. I've used super glue. All my life, and I've never had no trouble with this. This is just going everywhere. Okay, so I'm just going to add this this next section in. Obviously, I'm quite used to cutting 45 degrees, so I don't have no problem. But if you're going to cut something at 45 degrees, you get another piece of the material you're using, which is like 2.5, and you put it on the end. And you bring your pencil across, a pencil mark. And then you join up these two lines, and that's your, that's your 45 degrees. So we the baluster rail upside down. I'm just going to glue in this uh, So after adding this uh, last back section across, this little companion way, obviously railing and baluster rail is almost complete. So what I want to do, I've just got some of these little uh, blocks. I've just got some of these little uh, these little blocks. I made these out of walnut because I was running out of a uh, 2.5 mil stock. And these have just been cut at three mil long. And these are just going to get glued onto the bottom section at this base just to give us that extra height. So pretty much after spending most of yesterday gluing all my fingers together, I've now gone back just to this the standard super glue. That's just going to give me the raised height that I need. So I've also got some little small blocks. And I'm going to glue these just to the top section. Put a glue one there. And that's just going to give us a little bit more extra high off the column. I 
and you'll also uh, cover up cover up the myers Okay, so that's one of them in every corner, and they can just be trimmed back and sanded flat. Okay, so all the glue has been drying for you know, five, ten minutes, and you don't really need to leave super glue to dry that long, but I like just to let it uh, fully cure. So anyway, now I'm just kind of going to just take all these little sanding uh, circles. And I'm only going to work it in each corner. It's very old, even though it's nice and glue, it's still very fragile. So I'm just going to sand it on, on the different sides. Just making sure that I only kind of grab it where there's some there, uh, like a little bit of strength to the structure. I know this will do, it's just going to uniform all these columns. Okay, so on top of the baluster rail on the real victory, they've got like a, it's not like a ball, it's very much like a flat spot. Like you get like a top of your baluster rail, it's got like a little flat spot handle. So I'm thinking about that and to do that. Oh, thank you, my love. It's okay. Cheers, everyone. She's a keeper. So I've been thinking about all these miniature tacks that we get. We get like a nice uh, thin shaft, but then like a little, like a half ball at the top. So I'm thinking that maybe if you cut the top of the, one of these off, to cover these, because these fly everywhere. Now these are probably gonna fit. We pre-drilled this earlier. I'm going to drop one in. It's a little bit too long, but I think that's going to work. I'm just going to drop a little bit of super glue into this hole. It's a bit tricky when you've got big sausage hands. Oh dear, the joy is. Yeah, that's gonna look okay. Once that's all painted up. Yeah, so in this case, I'm just taking a, this is a point six drill. I'm just getting it centered by eye. Okay, so it's added four more three more these little pins just at the top of this uh, this baluster rail and now it's kind of time to uh, kind of get it get it painted so oh, before I go what do you think of this little camera stand I've made I just made it up yesterday now probably quite useful for these kind of you know if I want to bring something in really close and you can kind of get it uh, get a good view of it for a change <clears throat> okay so what I'm going to do now is obviously going to paint it what I like to do first, I'd like to just kind of on the cocktail, a little bit of glue on the cocktail stick and then I'm like just, just going to work on a part. So 
and stick to the cocktail sticks. So I've kind of got, I mean, it's not over, over secure. There should be just enough so I can kind of paint this where I'm uh, plugging up all my hands. So I don't think I'll stick it to the, to the phone. Uh, go on. So to paint this, I'm just going to use some, uh, some brown, brown oak paint. Probably a lot easier to airbrush this, but I made a bit of a decision about six months ago that I kind of wanted the, uh, the hand, hand painting finish. Just to try and be a bit more traditional. Like I say, because it's mounted on this cocktail stick, that nobody's going to going to see. Just break it off before we fix it. Pretty much once we uh, get a full coat, I'm not actually going to apply any more paint to the brush. I'm just going to go around and make sure that there's no no paint welling up on any of the surfaces. And if there is, then I can just smooth them over. Okay, so that's pretty much all the uh, ballast rail painted. Put it on the little bit of foam to dry, and then we'll come back in a bit. Okay, so the main railings all nice and dry now, and it's ready to just be fitted to the quarter deck. But first of all, I'm going to take these steps that we uh, I made earlier. So a little bit of super glue. That's onto the four points. And this can be dropped into place. Same again, now it's just a case of a little bit of super glue to the four anchor points. So 
So I'm going to glue it in the back first. And bring these down, make sure. Okay, so that's the main companion way baluster rail, all complete. I've only actually increased the height all the way around it on about two mil, so yeah, I can live with that. And it just finishes off and makes it look a little bit more interesting. So anyway, that's pretty much it for today's video. It's been a little bit of a drawn out process for me, obviously getting used to Premiere Pro. I've built this, I mean, this is like a little section. I've built this over the last two days, I and mean, it's pretty much on a case of like two hours of building and probably about 10 hours of messing about and obviously moving files across and stopping the starting cameras and getting a little bit used to it. But like I say, the more I do it, the more it's going to get a little bit easier for me to work. So I'm, uh, I'm a lot more happy with the overall quality of my video. So it'd be a case of probably going forward, it'd be a case of uh, quality over quantity because um, there's like no way I can churn churn these videos out really quick it just is what it is so anyway hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and i'll see you all next time